All right, hi everyone. I'm Justin, this is Valley Hockey Talk. Today I'm bringing you the breaking news that Tyler Toffoli of the Los Angeles Kings has been traded to the Vancouver Canucks. But first, I want to thank everyone for watching and remind everyone to please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. All right, so like I mentioned, Tyler Toffoli of the LA Kings, top six forward, has been traded to the Vancouver Canucks in exchange for Tim Schaller, Tyler Madden, a 2020 second round pick, and a 2022 conditional fourth round pick. So obviously this is a huge trade for both teams. Uh, both teams trying to get this trade out of the way before the deadline, the deadline coming up very soon. Uh, but it's a great trade for both teams as far as I'm concerned. The Pacific Division is such a tight race right now that really any of those top teams have a chance. The Vancouver Canucks have been in first place. Um, right now they're in third place, but they're only a point behind Vegas and Edmonton. So it's a very tight race. And really a lot of people feel like if you get in the playoffs this year, you have a chance to win no matter where you get in, especially like in a division like the Pacific Division, um, where it's just so close. And a lot of people are saying that like the Canucks aren't a team that you're going to want to play in the playoffs just because they're built uh, very well for the playoffs, I think. And they got such a hot goaltender and a superstar like Elias Pettersson. That's going to allow them to win a lot of games. So Tyler Toffoli brings an element to the top six that they've been lacking, especially for the fact that the Canucks GM Jim Benning has come out and said that Brock Besser, an elite sniper for the Canucks, will be out for the next three weeks with uh, fractured cartilage in his ribs. So obviously a very significant injury for Brock Besser. Uh, and it's going to keep him out of the lineup for the next three weeks in a very tight race. And it's also come out, unfortunately, for Michael Furlan that he still has concussion-like symptoms and he's going to miss the rest of the NHL season. So not very good news for him. Hopefully um, he's feeling better in the offseason and will be able to continue his NHL career. Um, or else maybe his career could be in jeopardy potentially. But anyways, so they know that Furlan's out for the year so they can certainly use his um, cap space for a guy like Toffoli. And then uh, Besser being out, like I mentioned, he plays so well with Pedersen uh, that they, you know, Jim Benning probably felt that they needed some offense uh, in this top six for this cup run, for this playoff run, and to have a good shot in the playoffs. So you can never have enough depth. So it's a great deal for uh, the Canucks. So in terms of the points this year for Toffoli, uh, statistically, it's a little bit low for him, but he has 34 points in 58 games, so not too bad. 18 goals, which is impressive. He scored a hat trick in the outdoor game against Colorado this past weekend, which which a lot of people would thought would up his trade value, which it obviously has. Uh, but anyways, this guy scored 31 goals in the league before, so people know he could score. And he's also been very proficient in the playoffs. So I'm going to get into line combinations and some different things in a bit, but I'm just going to tell Los Angeles Kings fans what they got. So they got Tim Schaller, uh, fourth line guy they can plug in, kill Palmies. Uh, be a leader for the team. He actually has six points in 51 games, so he's certainly not going to do much for the team in terms of offense, but he's just a veteran leader for the team. Uh, Tyler Madden is the real prize of this trade for the Kings, top prospect for the Vancouver Canucks. He's a 20-year-old forward who plays for Northeastern University. He's having a great year with 37 points in 27 games, which is very good in university hockey. Uh, he actually just got injured, unfortunately, for his team and him. But anyways, he was the main part of this trade, so they're going to be very happy to get him. The Kings have certainly been trying to deal out some assets. They know that they're a bad team this year. They're going to draft high. And they've been trying to accumulate picks and players, which they've done with Madden. And they get a second round pick with that. So the Canucks don't have a first or second round pick this year. Of course, as we remember, they traded the first rounder for uh, JT Miller uh, to the Tampa Bay Lightning. So anyways, they end up getting a, the Canucks second round pick in this year. And then a conditional fourth round pick in 2022. Not a big deal. Uh, but if the Canucks re-sign to Foley, then they give them that fourth round pick, uh, which I don't think they're going to care too much about if they re-sign a guy like Toffoli. So yeah, Toffoli is a UFA at the end of the season, uh, so he could certainly be a 100% rental player. As for right now, the Canucks have him, and they're hoping that they can have a good run with him, and he's going to want to stay. Kings, what they care about is Madden and that second round pick, hoping that they can turn those guys into good NHL players for their team. So good deal for both teams. Like I mentioned, I like the fact that the Kings are getting younger, trying to get faster, realizing that they need to rebuild. And the Canucks, I also like the fact that they're going all in this year. Uh, they already stated that they're going all in this summer with the moves that they made and the trades that they made. And Elias Patterson's playing like an absolute star. Horvat's a fantastic player. And then, of course, Markstrom's been just great this year. And then Quinn Hughes could be the rookie of the year. He's just been a fantastic defenseman for their team. So they have everything going for them right now. So why not go for it? Yeah, it's kind of the Wild West. It's all open. So... Uh, so let's just see how what happens and really interesting for the Canucks is that uh, they already traded for Tanner Pearson from the Kings and everybody will remember that Toffoli and Pearson played with Jeff Carter uh, on that great cup run they had when they won the second Stanley Cup in LA. Uh, just fantastic line and those two were incredible together. They're great friends, they have lots of great chemistry. So I would imagine for right now they're going to have 
uh, Bull Horvat centering to Foley and Pearson on a line. I think that'll be a really good line. And then I think they'll keep Pedersen with uh, Miller and uh, Bertanen for now, which Bertanen's had a resurgence this year. He's been good. So that's also a very good line. So I really like their top six with these guys. And then especially when Besser comes back, uh, one of these guys is going to go to the third line, uh, probably Bertanen. So then you're looking at Besser and Pedersen and JT Miller. And then you're looking at Toffoli, Horvat, and Pearson. And then you got Bertanen on that third line with a guy like Brandon Sutter. And you just got lots of depth, lots of things going for them for the Canucks. And then you got guys like Quinn Hughes on the back end. So their power play should be phenomenal. Uh, they can move to Foley under that first power play unit with Pedersen, Horvat, and Miller. And then they got Hughes. And then if Besser's back, you got him. So you just got so many options, so many scoring threats. Uh, guys that are creative with the puck, offensive players. And Toffoli can be a game breaker. And he can be that game changer that they're looking for. So if they're going to need a goal, uh, maybe he can be the guy that does it. He can score big goals for them. So anyways, I really like the trade for the fact that they added one of the top players available. Um, some people might consider him the top player available. And I like what the Kings did with getting Madden. So it's a tough pill to swallow. Uh, Canucks giving up some of the future, but their future is right now with, with their very talented young players uh, that they already have in their lineup. So I like the fact that they're going for it. So as always, thank you for watching. Just want to remind everybody that I opened up a new store called neonni.com. So please make sure to check that out uh, as I'm selling awesome hockey merch and fitness lifestyle stuff. So make sure to check out the link in the description. I'm going to throw a little ad in here so you can kind of see what you're getting into. Um, but anyways, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.